I'm not worried about getting older, man. Do you know what I'm worried about? Putting on weight. I mean, I look like shit. <laughs> I'm very self-conscious about my body. Not so self-conscious that I'm actually going to change my lifestyle, but I, I am self-conscious <laughs> about it. This is how bad I've got it. I woke up one morning. I went to the bathroom. I looked in the mirror. I was so disgusted at the chocolate blancmange abomination <laughs> that was staring back at me that I went back to the bedroom and I apologised to my wife <laughs> for my appearance. And she accepted my apology. <laughs> this is how bad I've got it, right? I don't even want to take my kids swimming because I don't want to take my top off in public, right? Do you know what my wife said to me? Just wear a T-shirt. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'll distract any attention, won't it? What a knobhead in the corner of the pool, wet T-shirt, clinging to his torso. <laughs> oh, yeah, fine, this just helps me glide through the water, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 he's not breastfeeding, we're just having a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> My excess weight and my lack of attractiveness is one of the main reasons I've never cheated on my wife. <laughs> it's not the number one reason. The number one reason is because I love her very much, but... Thank you, but a close second... <laughs> ..is lack of opportunity. I, I mean, it's... <laughs> there is no point denying that. It's easy to be faithful when you're repulsive, isn't it? I mean, I can't even... <laughs> fantasise about another woman, because that fantasy is ruined by the fact that in that fantasy, I would have to be there. Jimmy, you know I mean? it's, it's a massive turn-off. It doesn't matter how hot the woman is, eventually my gelatinous bulk has to rock up. So... <laughs> if I want to fantasise about a woman, I first got to fantasise about six months of intensive cardio. Do you know what I mean? like, <laughs> fuck that. This is what I find helpful about Facebook, right? What I find useful about it is it enables you to identify which of your friends are twats, basically, because <laughs> what happens is when your friends speak to you, they just tell you what they think you want to hear or they sort of, like, keep their real opinions to themselves. But on Facebook, they post up what they really think and then you think, oh, right, yeah, no, you are a bellend. Like, I, I didn't know. I suspected, but now I know. It's when you find out which of your friends are racist, homophobic, sexist, misogynistic, Islamophobic. My wife gets really offended. She's like, oh, God, I hate it. I love it. <laughs> I gravitate towards it. I start asking her more questions. I want to know exactly how idiotic these morons are, right? One of my wife's friends, she put up a Britain First picture, right? Ban the burqa, right? Had a picture of a woman in a burqa. It said, this is disgusting. If you want this to stop, click like. Because... That is how <laughs> this woman thinks that legislation works, right? The base of <laughs> Theresa May will look at that and go, shit, we're going to have to ban the burqa. <laughs> well, it's got 700 likes, and I've just put it on Lad Bible. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, straight away, right, my wife defended her. She said it's racist. Now, I don't know if she really thought that, or she was doing it out of solidarity with me. Do you know what I mean? I'm not Muslim, but I think she's just trying to show that she's down with the Browns. You know? <laughs> anyway, straight away, she defriended her. Fuck that, mate. I added her. <laughs> I sent her a message. I don't like Muslims either. Let's see how deep the rabbit hole goes. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but it does make me nervous. It makes me nervous, because I think, shit, you know, what does this mean? For my family, I'm married to a white woman. Do you know what I mean? I'm telling you that because it's important for the next bit. I'm not showing off. Right? <laughs> but I'm not one of these ethnic minorities that remain within their own communities. I'll move to your neighbourhood, I'll take one of your jobs, I'll shag one of your women. <laughs> and I will bring the property prices right down. That's just how I operate. <laughs> Sometimes I think I'm having more children just to piss off the neighbours, do you know what I mean? Just... <laughs> Number one, <laughs> one mate! <laughs> You'll be the minority soon, won't you? This carries on. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I saw a condom, to be honest with you. <laughs> ah, don't worry about it. If I can't afford it, I'll just claim. <laughs>